Attention class. Welcome to Professor Bobby's Meal Prep 101. Today, I'm gonna school you how to make quick, easy, and delicious meal prep that is literally so easy, by the end of this video, you are gonna rock this meal. Because we are making crispy skin salmon that only takes a few minutes to make, cauliflower rice loaded with tons of veggies, and blistered sugar snap peas with chilies and garlic. So if you guys support my channel and love my meal prep recipes, subscribe below. I have new videos every Friday and I love sharing them with you. Now let's cook. Let's start with the cauliflower rice. So I have a large pan preheating over medium heat. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and then go in with one cup of broccoli florets and then half an onion and one yellow squash. And then grab half a teaspoon of salt and a couple cracks of pepper. And then go ahead and give this guy a mix up and we're gonna cook it for about seven minutes until the onions and broccoli start to soften up. In the meantime, we are gonna perform a culinary magic trick and turn this head of white cauliflower into cauliflower rice. It's one of my favorite things to do lately and it's so healthy and so easy. Go ahead and cut it in half and then reach for your box grater. And just like you're grating our big old hunk of cheddar cheese, we're gonna grate this and it's gonna look exactly like rice. It's a total mind freak, I'm telling you. It's okay to get a little bit of stalk, but you wanna get mostly florets. And when I lift up the box grater, check that out. It looks just like rice, it has a great texture. Now you can make this even quicker if you have a food processor at home with the grater attachment, but hey, this is easy food prep and I know you all have one of these at home. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let me take a break from my bicep workout here and grab about three cloves of garlic that have been finely minced and add that to the pan. And then grab one teaspoon of dried thyme. And the reason why I don't add the garlic in the beginning is because garlic burns easily. So I always give my heartier vegetables about five or six minutes to cook and then I add the garlic. Let me finish grating up my cauliflower and we'll add it to the pan. All right, and I'm done. And then I don't use this kind of stock here because it's a little too tough and it's gonna have a very different texture than the florets, so don't add that. But do add this ginormi pile of cauliflower rice here directly to the pan. Now go in with another half teaspoon of salt and a couple cracks of pepper. Give this guy a nice mix up and it's already looking nice and healthy. And then lower the heat to medium low. Grab the lid, slap it on and let it cook for about six to seven minutes just until that raw edge, that raw crunch is out of the cauliflower and then it's done. If you guys have veggie recipes at home that are super easy and super healthy like this, leave a comment below. I wanna see what you're making. It's been seven minutes. I know this is done and you wanna be super careful not to overcook it. So let's kill the heat and do the unveiling. Get in that pot. That is deliciousness, y'all. The rawness of the cauliflower is gone. All the vegetables have cooked through perfectly. Now all we have to do to make the flavors pop like it's hot is add a couple more ingredients. Can you guess? Can you guess what I have? Shocker alert, lemon zest. Yes, Bobby is hashtag obsessed with zest. So go ahead and add the zest of one lemon to the pan and the juice of half a lemon. If you guys are looking for a good but cheap Christmas gift, these two things make the best presents. I have the links down below. I honestly use them almost every day in the kitchen. And then about a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Give it a mix up. And this is just about the time we do a little quality control, which is also my favorite part. The cauliflower still has a little crunch. The vegetables add so much flavor and that zest and juice and parsley are making the flavors legit. That is so good. Now, before we even cook the salmon, the key to making the skin extremely crispy lies in the fridge, my friends. You wanna leave it skin side up for 30 minutes. That way the skin starts to dehydrate. Because think about it. Moisture is the enemy to making crispy skin. So doing this for 20 to 30 minutes will give you the crispiest skin ever. So the next step is to preheat a large cast iron pan over medium high heat for three minutes. So check it out. I have five salmon fillets in front of me, about six ounces each. And this is wild Atlantic salmon. It's nice and fatty, has tons of omega threes, and it's gonna be like butter in our mouth when we eat it. Before the salmon hits the pan, let's season it with a pinch of salt and a couple cracks of pepper. All right, now this is super duper important. I have my pan preheating for about two and a half minutes now. I'm gonna take one to two tablespoons of veggie oil and add that to the pan so it heats up too. Because as soon as the skin hits the pan, you want it cooking and crisping up immediately. If your pan's not hot enough, the skin won't crisp up the way you want it. Perfect sizzle noise. And then what I like to do is take my hand and push down on the salmon just for about five seconds so the skin makes maximum impact with the pan. Now I was gonna do all five in here, but if you think about it, that's gonna overcrowd the pan. 
And what's gonna happen is they're not gonna sear and get a really hard crust because the temperature of the pan is gonna lower and they're actually gonna boil or stew in their own juices. So doing two batches here will take about 10 extra minutes, but it's so worth it because the salmon is gonna be crisp-tastic. And then real quick, let's give another pinch of salt on the top side and a couple cracks of pepper. Now there's been a couple of you requesting salmon meal prep for a few weeks right now. So this one definitely goes out to you. But if you have more requests, just leave a comment below. I will check them out and you know I will totally hook you up. So let's go ahead and flip these guys. They've been cooking for about five minutes. Beauty, check out that crust. Golden brown, slightly charred. Now immediately turn the pan down to low and let them finish cooking through on the fleshy side for about two to three minutes. It'll be perfect. Let's pull these guys out of the pan, and then we'll immediately go in with a second batch of fish. And remember, push it down. That'll make sure the skin gets super crispy. And then a touch more salt and pepper. Now, I like my salmon a little pink in the middle, but if you're not sure it's done, just cut into it. And then if you want, you can put it back on the heat. No problem, it works perfect every time. All right, let's take these guys out too. These guys look so money and crispy. So total cook time was about five minutes on the skin side. Flip it, lower the heat, and two minutes on the fleshy side. Now the only thing we have left to do for this easy meal prep are my blistered sugar snap peas with chilies and garlic. And they sound kind of sophisticated, right? And they sound like they might be a little tough to make. Pfft, this is easy meal prep. Here's how you do it. Add one tablespoon of veggie oil to a pan, along with half a red onion that's been finely diced half a teaspoon of salt, and a couple cracks of black pepper. Cook it for a couple minutes, then add three cloves of garlic that have been finely minced, and half a red chili that's been finely sliced. Next, add a pound of sugar snap peas, crank the heat up to high, and cook it for five to six minutes until they're nice and blistered. Kill the heat and add one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and then one tablespoon each of sesame seeds and freshly chopped parsley. Give it a mix up and you're all done. Really crunchy, a little spicy, a little sweet, but these guys are so good. All we have left to do is assemble our meal prep containers. All right, I've got my glass meal prep containers, which if you want the link, it's below in the description box. I love these guys. Let's grab some salmon. Now here's the deal with salmon, you guys. If you want it to be really fresh tasting, only buy and cook enough for three days. And then after those three days, buy some more because the flavor of this for three days in the fridge after it's cooked starts to go downhill. So that's the way I do it. Let's add the salmon to the container and then grab some cauliflower rice, really nice and colorful. Then grab some sugar snap peas. All five containers are done for the next few days. And come on guys, look at that deliciousness. Is that legit or what? Now let's take a little bite of the salmon because it is calling my name. You guys, that salmon is like butter. It's so flavorful, so juicy, and that skin is just so crispy and delish. And there it is, guys. Meal Prep 101 has never been easier or tastier. If you want the recipe, and I know you do, it's down below in the description box. Check it out. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for new meal prep recipes every Friday morning coming at you. If you want to see two other awesome, healthy, and delish meal prep videos, click on the ones below me. But I'll see you next week, and I'm going to say unto you what I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Later.